What's up YouTube? Got one last video for you tonight and it is going to be why a Zippo lighter is better than a clipper lighter. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, but comrade T-Man, don't you uh don't you uh own several clippers? Don't you use clippers? Don't you like clippers? Yes, I do. However, in my opinion, a Zippo is superior for several reasons and I'm going to go into that in this video. So first reason why a clipper is inferior to a Zippo is fuel versatility. You can fill a Zippo lighter with several different um, fluids besides just Zippo um, premium lighter fluid. And also I have found that a uh, lighter fluid, at least in my town, and I don't know if it's the same in other towns because I know up in Boone, the Walmart carried um, butane bottles and stuff like that for filling butane lighters. Um, but it was a college town and, you know, there's a lot of, uh, 420 stuff, related stuff, um, up there, so that figures. So there's a lot of people using clippers up there. Here, not so much. Like, um, major tobacco stores, like here, like the wholesale tobacco, um, outlets and shit like that, that have large varieties, yeah, they'll have different, all different kinds of bottles of butane. And you can fill a clipper lighter with pretty much any butane and it'll work. But a Zippo, you can straight up fill with car gasoline. I don't recommend that because at least for me here in America, our car gasoline has 10% ethanol in it, and it's too crude. At least um, the 87 octane is too crude to um, successfully um, run a Zippo, like, you know, first strike and it's lit. Like it, like I'd be sitting there striking it several times before it actually lit and it's very... Um, the odor is extremely obnoxious. However, white gas or naphtha is a very good, um, cheaper alternative to Zippo lighter fluid if you can't get Zippo lighter fluid where you're at. As a matter of fact, I have a video um, on my channel that I did several months ago um, discussing um, using white gas versus um, regular lighter fluid. Regular lighter fluid is far superior in a Zippo because it doesn't get it quite as dirty as fast and it doesn't char the wick quite as much. But um, second reason <clears throat> why a Zippo is superior to a clipper lighter is, well, I will demonstrate. So let's let these run for, I don't know, a few seconds. As you can see, one is way more wind resistant than the other. This one, there is absolutely fucking no wind resistance whatsoever. The only clipper lighters that I know of that have any wind resistance whatsoever are um, the, I think the torch ones um, are wind resistant as well. But other than that, like, again, like, like that was hardly like anything. And, and even with the Zippo, like you go, it's gonna go out because that's a lot of wind in one area focusing in on one area versus where if you're lighting it, like let's say in um, like a, a windy situation, like outside of your work or something, and you're like, let's say trying to smoke a cigarette or just, you know, playing around with your lighter, um, it won't go out. And that's what I really like about Zippos and Zippos are extremely water resistant as well. Both I and Zippo Fanatic have even frozen our Zippos in ice thawed them out and they'd light right up. This, if I fucking froze this in a block of ice, I can guarantee you this lighter would be trashed. Um, just because they're, again, these are like a, a buck 50 each uh, where I'm at. And uh, lighters like this that are made out of plastic or mostly plastic, um, they don't have um, quite as much rigidity as a Zippo lighter. And plus these, and this is another um, selling point for Zippo, why Zippos are superior to clipper lighters is because they're made in the United States. And not only are they made in the United States, they have an unlimited lifetime warranty. So 
Let's say if I wanted to, I could literally take this right now in this carport where I'm sitting and throw it and stomp it, smash it flat, hit it with a hammer or a, um, what's it called, a matic or anything, put a bunch of holes in it. I can send it to Zippo and in a month they will send me a brand new lighter. No questions asked. They will fix your lighter. Now, granted, their uh, repair service has, um, they've had to start um, getting cheaper on certain things. Like back in the day um, when I mailed my first ever Zippo back into repair, it was my Candy Apple Red Zippo. And when I mailed that lighter in, they sent me like a little tiny pack of flints because that's what they used to do. Anytime you'd send, however many Zippos you sent in, each Zippo you sent in, they would send back your original insert, a new insert inside of it, and they'd put a little piece of paper, and then they'd, you know, have a little rubber band that they'd wrap around it, and they would send you little flint packs, and they would also send you um, a little uh, customer note alongside a little Zippo date code. Now, they've quit giving out those date codes, um, mainly, I think, honestly, because, because they um, have recently, I think, uh, like on the, on the date codes that you used to be able to get, like back in 2015 when I got mine, um, it pretty much stopped at 2020. So I don't really know why, um, they don't give those out anymore. But again, I think it's a cost saving thing, um, for Zippo in order to do that. But again, wind resistance, like I said, I mean, again, it's not going to be able to withstand blowing directly onto the fucking flame. But, um, like, again, if you're standing in a windy situation and you need to light a lighter, this will actually light, whereas this you'll have to, you know, sit there, cover it, and uh, shit like that. Um, but on top of that, another reason why Zippos are superior, in my opinion, to clipper lighters is well honestly because i just like the weight the weight you actually feel like you're holding something of high quality which it is compared to a clipper lighter again this is a buck 50 this is 15 dollars and again it's made in the united states so whereas these are made in spain and to be honest they probably are sourcing their metal for like this and the uh um plastic parts most likely from China or Taiwan. But I mean, honestly, the same goes for Zippos, like with their hinges, the steel that they use on their hinges as well has gone downhill over the years. But still, in my opinion, a Zippo is a far superior lighter all around compared to a clipper lighter. Now, again, a clipper lighter is a best second to a Zippo, but it, it, it honestly all comes down to whether or not, and I, I apologize for the traffic noise um, in the background, but um, it all honestly comes down to whether or not you're willing to invest in a higher quality lighter or you just want something that, yes, you can reuse, but granted there isn't really any, you know, fuel saving techniques or anything like that that you can do with this and there isn't any flame adjustment either on this where there is on a Zippo. If you want to adjust your flame height, all you have to do is pull your wick up or pull the wick down or trim your wick, etc. So that is pretty much my overview on why a Zippo is a far superior lighter to a clipper lighter. But again, a clipper lighter is a good second to a Zippo compared to like, let's say a Bic because honestly, a Bic is a piece of shit and it has that stupid safety thing that uh, is, in my opinion, really irritating. Like back in the day, like when I was 10, I used to, whenever I'd get a uh, Bic lighter, I would uh, take a fork and I would remove the little child safety thing that they had on it just because it was irritating and it got in my way. But um, yeah, guys, that's gonna be the video. If you like the video, like, share, comment, subscribe. Anything you do helps and I will see you in the next video.